Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more EU4, Granada and Grandeur in Europa Universalis 4. This is uh, my first video back after taking a couple days off. Um, I still probably sound a little bit different, a little bit sick. Because I am. Still am. And, uh, oh well. You know, it sort of is what it is. So anyway, um, yep. I looked around the map a lot, trying to figure out if there was anything I could do to, uh, to improve this legitimacy situation. Didn't really find anything, uh, aside from one more option we can do, which we'll, we'll try. Let's go ahead and turn the... Farming efficiency off. I don't know why that's always on. I don't really care about it much. And we're going to wait a few days here. We're going to start improving relations with the Mamluks. I don't know if <clears throat> making making the head of our religion like us better will actually make any real difference. But we're going to improve relations with him for a few months, and then we're going to try this uh, seek legitimacy from the Caliph option. Okay, uh, we've become a great power, and we're going to say that there's room for talented men. So we're great power. Um, cool. What do we get to do with that? Oh wow, Ming has seven thousand six hundred and eighty-six points. I really didn't think that we were that close to getting up in great power rank, but okay, that's not not bad at all. Okay, so 8th ranked Great Power, we get 10 Static Power Projection. And of course, we're able to do the normal Great Power Interaction type stuff. Take on Foreign Debt and Influence Nation. Well... wonder if it would make sense to influence the nation. Oh, uh, no. Hey, look at that. Speaking of easy legitimacy. Just, just get and lose the Peasants' War. Done. Ten legitimacy. Honestly, if I could get it to, to fire, I would do it right now. I think we can stop worrying about spying on Fez. Let's see how much it would cost for me to... Uh, ...the great power influence these guys. So for 25 ducats, I can get five favors or five... ...five permanent trust with my subject and they get admin points. Sure. That actually seems fine. Let's do that. Seven ducats. Sounds sounds like a steal. 64? Sure. Now that one's a little bit more. But the, the reason I'm willing to do it is the the trust won't decay. It'll actually stay at 55, and that does affect Liberty Desire. Um, them having positive trust. It's not a huge amount. Uh, trust towards Granada. So it's, a, it's a basically minus one Liberty Desire permanently. Which is decent. Let's go ahead and do our seek legitimacy from the Caliph option. And hope, hope that things go well. Otherwise, we're looking at a pretty short period of time here. Alright, Hafsid taking advantage of Fez while he's weak. Probably also top off relations with this guy. Probably more important than this. Aragon being my uh, my only valid rival. It's fun. When can we interact with the lesser nobles? In eight months. Alright, sure. You know what? Go ahead. Fight each other. Make each other sad. Make me happy.
Now, there's nothing I can do to stop this guy from beating up on Fez. Negative 200 opinion means that I can't can't possibly inter interject myself into their war. Um, Hofsid is allies with the Mamluk, so that's going to make it a little bit tricky if I want to attack him, and, and I do. Our next truce is with Castile in August of 31. Darn civil war nonsense, man. We have another out, and that is that if we die, we're 64 right now, we can either go into a Regency Council or have our strong claim heir come into power. That would work as well. Okay, I think I'm going to end up probably having to give away a bunch of this land. We'll probably give away the interior provinces. Try to hold on to the naval force limit we get from the, the coastline. Probably not getting very much, but... Oh, I was going to say, why is it less than 100%, but apparently it's not. We can actually see it is horrible now. So timing-wise, it just kind of worked out that as I was looking at it... It might be the easiest way of seeing if, if something can be cored, is if uh, you're looking at the autonomy map mode. Okay, so... Uh, when can I do this? In three months. Let's wait three months before we decide what we're going to do with the provinces. really like for these guys to have more than more than 15% influence in the nation. Okay, well, autonomy could certainly be a little bit better. Might not be a bad idea to start focusing on... Why Why does farming efficiency keep on popping up? I swear, I turn this thing off all the time. I don't want to see farming efficiency. Please. Alright, so we've got excellent, excellent communication time. Autonomy is is coming down rather quickly, uh, about three per year it looks like, but it's just not quite enough. Quick communication. Quick. Versus rapid. That's a pretty significant disparity. Alright, let's try our interaction with the Lesser Nobles. I'm going to demand support from you. Oh, that's unfortunate. I had assumed that I'd be able to demand the... the legitimacy from them again, but I can't. Was it the Greater Nobles that I didn't do before? No. Okay, well that, that certainly does change things. Alright, let's just assume that we're not going to be able to do it then. So with Morocco then, I'm going to give away... Marquec. 
And there's certain provinces that I do need to hold on to. So Tadla, Fez. But most of the other interior provinces I can get rid of. Let's get rid of Azai. Jibala. All right, how are we doing on overextension now? So we're at thirty-six percent. Still not nearly low enough. If I just try holding on to Fez and Tadla, that would be less than ten percent. But I I need to be less than ten percent right now, and these cores won't be done in time. So. The only way I can get below 10% is if I give away... I think I'm going to have to temporarily give away Tadla. No, I'm going to have to temporarily give away Fez. Either that or just hope that we die in the next 8 months, and I don't really want to risk that. Or we could just do the damn Civil War. Nah. No. I'm just gonna... We'll just have to seize it back from him at some point in the future. Now all of these are coastal, so if I could, I'd prefer to hold on to them, but... That's going to be a no. Okay, fine, 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 fine game. Game's all mad at me, says, you know, you tried to use the CB, you're not supposed to use, and so you have to hold on to all of it. Or you have to, you have to give it all back. Price is averted. We'll just stay at peace for a bit. Uh, we're making excellent money. I think workshops are still pretty darn good to build. Getting some more, another university up and running would also be a good way to go. So we can keep on growing into pretty good wealth. And now I'm losing great power status because I don't own enough land myself. All right. Okay. Diploma of Investiture. The Caliph has graciously granted us the title of Amir, rightful governor of Granada. It's just a shame that we didn't get that years of separatism modifier while I still own the other provinces, but... Fez has ceded land, and now I have gained the Conquest CB against Tlemcen. Really? The so Tlemcen has expanded over to here. I have a claim on that province that coincidentally expires in like five months. Apparently I've had this claim for 50 years, and it's about to expire. Tlemcen is allied to Hafsid and Togert. 
He's many, many levels behind me in tech, and a great way to allow me to attack Hafsid without having to deal with the Mamluks. So, by all means, let's go raise maintenance. And get ready to attack that guy. He's got one level 4 fort. Beyond that, looks like everything's going to fall very, very quickly down here. Now, sadly, I can't take or hold on to any of this land myself. But I don't want to lose that claim. And I definitely do want to split up Hafsid from the Mamluk. I have good relations. I think I gave myself an extra month instead of waiting until April. Alright, so as soon as we're allowed to, we'll declare war, and hopefully we can just move right in, and... <clears throat> I wonder if it's going to be better... Probably better to use the other CB, though. No, wait, that's not true. I did this last time. I, I w I'm only allowed to take Figwig and Tower it if I do that. Alright, so we're just going to declare conquest. Oh, darn it, Hafsid will actually decline the call. I kind of wanted him to say yes, but... Alright, whatever. Naijib. Rolled really well. And just murdered everyone. Alright, so what kind of bonuses do we want to get here? We could create a breach. 55 military points. Honestly, a breach on this fort would probably save me quite a bit of time. And we have nothing to spend military points on anyway. So, sure. Let's just create a breach. It instantly put us at uh, much, much better numbers. We would need six artillery to get any kind of decent bonus beyond that. Gotta leave eight troops here. Let's see, this little derp is going to be a jerk. Whoa! The Medici, Medici system. The House of Medici was a political dynasty and banking family that at first began to gather prominence under some guy. The Republic of Florence, etc, etc. Banca de Medici. Medici. The Popolo start with five. Huh. So the, the Medici system. Cool. Alright, let's make this one happen quickly, hopefully.
despite the wall breach, it looks like it's gonna force me to sit here for a while. Oh well. I think I'm gonna stay focused on military, and... Ooh, ouch. That was really painful. Severe disease outbreak. Lovely. Stupid fort. Should have fallen right away. Instead, it's just making me suffer. Already winning by too much, so there's no way that this other guy is going to be able to uh, call the other guy in after the fact. My God, another severe disease outbreak. It's it's horrendous. Twenty population, level one fort. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. So many farmers live here. I want to imprison them all. Well, I'm not really sure how I'm going to use this to potentially isolate the. Uh, These fellas here, the Hofsid from the Mamluk. And it bothers me that the game calls them the Mamluk. Instead of the Mamluks. Pretender has seized the throne of the Mamluk. Interesting. So here... Never mind. That's 90 war score. We're probably done at this point. So we'll take this because the claim is going to expire. We pretty much have to do it. That's 7.5% overextension. I could hold on to that if the other cores were done, but they won't be done until 35, five years from now. So this is pretty much just going to have to be land that we end up feeding to our other subject. Who doesn't really seem to want to fabricate claims on anything. Might end up fighting the Mamluk. Might have to do it. Doesn't really seem like fun, but could be done. All right, I'm going to think about it for a bit here, but um, I'm going to take a break for a moment, and I'll be back in the next episode. So I always thank you for watching. Sorry about the uh, the voice and the infrequency of episodes, but, you know, doing what I can here, trying to, try to recover. I'll see you in a bit.